Hello, my name is Dr. Craig Childress. I'm a clinical psychologist in Pasadena, California. I specialize in treating children with ADHD issues, uh, oppositional defiant behaviors, family relationship problems, and, and parenting issues. Um, and today I'm going to talk with you about how to treat the child with ADHD using dietary approaches. Um, first off, let me say one of the differential diagnoses for ADHD is an autism spectrum disorder. Uh, oftentimes it's classified around an Asperger's kinds of issues. And in the autism spectrum, there are some indications of dietary issues, um, the, some uh, bacteria that live in the gut, uh, there's some research on that. There's some research on additives that kind of play a role. Um, and so that's an interesting domain to look at from an autism perspective. In terms of ADHD, there's a range of causes for ADHD. ADHD is just essentially a set of behaviors. And there can be any number of causes that produce those behaviors. A child in foster care, the genetic issues, a family you know, history of that kind of, of behavior and activity level, um, relationship issues that, that can create anxiety and, and produce that kind of behavior, sensory motor processing issues. Among those, potentially, is some indication that dietary additives or dietary factors like sugar um, can, can play a role in inducing hyperactivity um, or inattention problems. One of the things that is clear is our body uses our food as its basis for creating itself and making itself, particularly the brain. The brain uses certain brain chemicals that are involved in our nutrition. Um, and in large measure around some fruits and vegetables. If you're not getting sufficient fruits and vegetables, your brain may not have the chemicals necessary to function efficiently. Healthy eating is, is always healthy, okay? And so it's never going to be a bad thing to get your child on healthy eating. Now, whether you want to look at dietary um, uh, restrictions, uh, additive restrictions. There's some people who talk about removing yellow foods or yellow dye kinds of things, uh, sugars, those sorts of things. You might want to look at that. Um, allergies, getting an allergy test, you might want to look at that. Um, I'm not horribly optimistic that that's going to be very effective for a number of kids. I think that for most kids it's a different range of things, but for some kids it could well be effective um, or helpful. And if you'd like more information about ADHD-related issues or child development issues, you can visit my website. And thanks very much.